The Right to Be Cold, one woman's story of protecting her culture, the Arctic, and the whole planet. Sheila Watt Cloutier's international work on persistent organic pollutants, climate change, and other pressing environmental issues in the Arctic is an inspiration for Inuit and people around the world. In this intense and revealing memoir, Sheila explores the challenges and joys of her youth, the struggles to hold on to her culture during a period of rapid change, and how changes in the environment are threatening our Inuit way of life and our people. The Right to Be Cold shows how NGOs can make a difference and how Northern voices can be heard on global issues involving development and sustainability. Sheila Ayungi. I read this book in a beautiful sunny day in the fall and I was so absorbed in it that when I looked up and out the window I was kind of shocked that there weren't you know, mounds of snow and ice outside my window because I had been so brought in to her narrative of what it meant to grow up being cold. The Right to be Cold takes you off of your comfy couch where you're reading this book and puts you in Sheila's shoes as a child separated from her family, struggling to deal with what's happening to her community. I found it incredibly uh, upsetting and powerful. You know, I was propelled out into the international arena as an elected official for my people and got to have a bird's eye view of how the world works and how it ticks, how little it knows about the importance of Inuit culture and the importance of the Arctic's ice being the health barometer for the rest of the planet. The right to be cold is not just a right in the sense of an uh, Inuit people's right for their traditional livelihoods, but it's actually a necessity for the survival of Canada and indeed for the planet itself. A Wat Kluche offers us deep insight into Inuit people and their culture and questions of the environment that are both specific to the North but have an impact on all Canadians. It isn't just about protecting the ice for the sake of the ice. It isn't just about the polar bears. It's about a people who are trying to make it.